so guys after scrubbing the area where you have stretch mark go in with your stretch mark cream so this is how it's going to look like okay it's very light this is it so you have your stretch mark cream and your stretch mark scrub hello beauties how you all doing if this is the first time of seeing my face hi my name is etiosa you're welcome to my youtube channel if you know that you haven't subscribed yet please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below and if you do don't forget to turn on your notification button so you will be notified whenever i'll be uploading a new video for my returning subscribers thank you guys so much for tuning in today so guys in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to make a uh, stretch mark cream and also stretch mark scrub okay so in today's video i'll be giving you guys another different recipe and I will be making another uh, recipe so I just want to let you guys know that there's a lot of ways you can make a very effective stretch mark cream okay and if you are the type that use stretch mark products or you have bought a lot of stretch mark product before and it did not work for you so i advise you watch this video to the end because there's a lot of things that i'll be talking about okay and i don't want any of you to come and chat me up and asking me for the recipe i'm not going to give out any recipe so that is the main purpose why i'm doing this video so if you know that you have anything that you are doing at the moment either you stop whatever you are doing or you come back and watch this video later okay and i'll advise you get a pen and paper and write down I'll, some of you have become Playing that whenever I'm giving a recipe that I'm too fast in calling out the name. So what I'll be doing whenever I call any name, I'll be put writing the name on the disc on the on the screen so you guys can see it properly. Okay, so that is the best I can do for you guys. And for those of you who don't know how to get any of these products, I will be putting the number on the screen below. You can just chat them up. They will get you, you'll be able to get your product from them or whatever organic product you want to buy. You can get it from them. And so now let me call out the first ingredient that we'll be making use of today. Okay, no, sorry, the recipe that I'll be giving you guys. I already have it on my notes here, so I'll just be calling it out for you guys. Be rest assured that this recipe is a full recipe, okay, and it's so effective. So, and another thing I want to let you guys know, eh? If you know that you want to make this stretch mark cream and you just want to use it for like two weeks one month and at the end of the day you start complaining that it didn't work for you for more for some of you you guys know that stretch mark is not something that go off easily you guys know that stretch mark takes time it takes months it takes years it's not just something that you can just use it no matter how how effective that product is you cannot just use that product for one month and you expect to get a very uh good result definitely you will have you will get result but not as I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. So you have to be very, very patient if you want to make this product and you have to be very, very consistent and you have to scrub the areas where you have stretch mark. When I say scrubbing, I, it do, that doesn't mean that you should use the same lightening or whitening scrub you use for your body for the, the same area where you have stretch mark. That is the main reason I'll be teaching you guys how to make a stretch mark scrub. That is so different, guys. It's not like a lightning stretch mark uh, scrub or a lightning body scrub or anything. This is totally meant for the stretch mark, okay? That is why I said try your best to watch this video to the end because there's a lot of things I'll be talking about in this video. And I just hope that you guys uh, listen and you you guys just you guys apply all of these things okay if you can do that i will i, I will beg you to try just try everything that i will be saying try all the recipe that i'll be giving you and let me know after a month if you did not see difference on your stretch mark you are going to see a very good difference okay and this stretch mark oil sorry this stretch mark cream and also the scrub is going to help you a lot okay you are going to see visible results after one month and you have to continue using it okay you have to continue using it this is something that i have used for myself and i've and a lot of people have been buying this product from me it's not cheap just in case you want to buy from me it's not cheap so i'm doing you good by giving you guys the recipe although i still have my own different recipes and some other things that i know that is very very good for stretch mark that i can add to uh any stretch mark product that i want to make for somebody but don't uh don't be scared of anything just know that i'm giving you guys a full recipe that i know that will also work for you okay so now the first recipe i'll be giving you guys is for the stretch mark cream okay so now you'll be needing cool 
stretch mark cream you'll be needing one of it okay it's k w that's the spelling of that uh, cool cool stretch mark cream you'll be needing one then you'll be needing uh mendema stretch mark cream you'll be needing one as well and then you'll be needing bravia baba de caraco that name is, is i don't know it sounds funny so you'll be needing that it's called uh it's gel you'll be needing one of it and then you'll be needing uh, Aishu Beauty Snail Remover Stretch Mark. Okay, you'll be needing one. You'll be needing the Mark Oil. You'll be needing 50 ml. You'll be needing t uh, Repair Tissue Oil 50 ml. So now, this Repair Tissue Oil, you, if you don't have it, you can as well use either Bio Oil, Hydra Oil, or um, Rescue Oil to replace it. Okay, so you'll be needing uh, 50 ml of that. Then you'll be needing Miracle Powder. You'll be needing one. You'll be needing stretch mark and pulse. You'll be needing two, okay? Then you'll be needing T3 essential oil, okay? You'll be needing, uh, let's say, 20 drops. Then you'll be needing wheat jam oil. You'll be needing 30 ml of that. You'll be needing vitamin E oil, 50 ml. Just know that all of these ingredients, all of this recipe are so important, okay? Then you'll be needing salicylic acid, 50 gram. You'll be needing glycolic acid 50 gram you'll be needing propylene glycol 50 gram you'll be needing preservative which is also important in this recipe so your products will not spoil okay so that is it for the recipe now let's go straight to our workstation let me show you guys how to make the other recipe that i'm about to make now all right so please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video and don't forget to share that is all you can do for me all right so thank you guys so let's go straight to our workstation so this video is going to be long okay just you just really need to watch it and you need to to learn all right guys so let me show you guys all the ingredients that we'll be needing to make this stretch mark scrub first i have my uh, missing bowl here this is what i'll be using to miss this stretch mark uh, scrub so before you start producing anything make sure that your environment is neat and clean okay now i have my measurement cups here so let me set this aside so this is my sugar this is my white sugar so um it's better to use brown sugar but i actually have brown sugar at home but the one i have is not that much so i just i need this cup to be more okay so that's why i'm adding this uh white sugar i have white sugar here so if you don't have brown sugar and you want to make use of white sugar it's okay okay and then i have my brown sugar this is the brown sugar i'll be making use of i still have a bit too left in here so this is the quantity i have and then i have my propylene glycol okay this is very important okay and then i have my uh, citric acid so we are going to dissolve this in water okay so this is my citric acid then i have my um nest cafe this is coffee okay this is plain coffee this is the the calf not the blend they have the blend they have the calf the calf is like just a normal uh coffee is, i think it's not bitter okay this is the bitter one so this is the one we'll be making use of okay and then we'll be making use of honey make sure you're using pure organic honey okay this is my honey and it's pure it's organic okay and then we're making use of vitamin e oil which is also very important in this recipe then uh, the next thing that i'll be uh, adding is uh hydra oil okay so now hydra oil is very good when it comes to dehydrated skin uneven skin tone mature skin scar therapy and stretch mark so the main reason why i want to make use of this hydra oil is because i don't have rescue oil or bio oil and if you have um um bio oil or you have a uh, uh, rescue oil you can as well just make use of any of those so if you don't have you can make use of hydra oil and you also if you have um repair tissue oil it will be better okay so now and i have my tea tree essential oil we'll be adding in tea tree essential oil and then i have my miracle powder here this is very very important guys note that all the ingredients in this recipe are all very very important okay and then i have my lactic acid also very important guys so this is my lactic acid and then i have my 
my uh, lavender essential oil okay this is my lavender essential oil so if you are seeing my essential oil like this this one is just the measurement one so this is the one i prefer to buy because i'm so sure of this one okay so that's why my um essential oil is like that then we'll be adding in a uh, jama plus uh a uh, preservative okay this is my preservative and then we will be adding in a little bit of coconut oil this is my cold press coconut oil organic okay this is my coconut oil so now let's mix the ingredients together so now here is my messy bowl the first thing i'll be adding in is my sugar so here is my sugar and this is um 150 ml which is uh half a cup okay one sorry 120 ml of uh, my cup so i should have used the bigger measurement bottle or the medium the bigger measurement cup but i don't have that one available right now so that's what i'm looking for this one so i'll be adding this in to my missing bowl and i have about half left so I'll add in the white sugar. I guess the cup is enough too. Is enough, okay? I don't want to make too much, guys. So this is my sugar. All right, guys. So this boy is too small for me to mix. But I don't want to make a mess, so I have to transfer it into a bigger bowl. So now the next thing that we'll be adding in is the next uh, cafe, okay? So we need this. I just bought this yesterday. So, all right. So now we'll be using this as our measurement. This is 80 ml. Okay, and we'll be adding this into it. This is it. Then, next thing that we'll be adding in it's a uh, uh, propylene glycol so we're we'll adding in two tablespoons of our propylene glycol so this is 15 ml that i'm using here so now oh. now this is 30 ml that i added into it so guys before we continue i need to dissolve the citric acid into um i need to dissolve it with um water Okay, so we'll be adding in just 15 ml, which is uh, a tablespoon, okay? So now I have to add in just a little bit of water, okay? That's enough. So now I'm going to set this aside and let it to dissolve before adding it into a scrub. So now the next thing that uh, we are going to add is honey. So we're going to be adding in a organic honey so now our honey is going to be um a dissolver or it's i don't know it's going to be what we're going to use to mix this so i'll be adding in 25 ml of honey see how thick this honey is this is pure organic honey guys so then we'll be adding in our honey just hope you guys can see this so next thing that we'll be adding in is our coconut oil so we'll just be adding in two tablespoons of coconut oil so this is going to add uh, as uh, the moisture okay this is going to moisturize your skin whenever you scrub or with this scrub okay so the next thing that we'll be adding in is our vitamin e oil so we're going to add in two tablespoons as well two tablespoons of our vitamin e oil this is pure organic vitamin e oil okay so please make sure you are getting the organic one so next thing that i'll be adding in is my hydra oil so I'll, just, I'll be adding in one tablespoon of my hydra oil okay that's enough so next thing that will be going in is her um essential oil so this is my essential oil we're adding in just few drops of our essential oil 
okay that's enough as well with the lavender essential oil I'll be adding in a little bit as well i just hope you guys can hear me okay so that's good so next thing that i'll be going in is our german plus uh preservative we'll be adding in just a little okay that's enough i don't really have a measurement for that you can just use a uh, table eight six spoon so next thing i'm gonna do is to mix this properly okay next thing that we are going to add in is a miracle powder so if you buy uh, any miracle powders consistency is like this so all you need to do is just to grind it okay so i'm going to grind this off camera and then i'll be showing you guys the quantity that i'll be adding into a stretch mark scrub all right guys so i'm done blending so i'll be adding in just a little okay this is enough so all we need to do now is just to move this properly okay so this is how it looks this is how it looks like so we're going to be packaging this so all you need to do is to use this to scrub the area where you have your stretch mark okay so it's very very effective so that's all you need to do so now the next thing that we're going we are going to learn is how to make a stretch mark cream which is very very important guys okay so i have to package this first before we do we make the stretch mark cream Alright guys, so these are all the ingredients we'll be needing to make our stretch mark cream. So what I have right here is uh, carrot oil. This is my organic carrot oil. I DIY this myself. So if you haven't watched the video yet, you can as well just go ahead, go to my YouTube channel and you see the video over there. So this is the carrots. Okay, so I took a little bit of oils from oil from it. So this are carrot oil. And then the next thing that we'll be needing is our mango butter. So this is our mango butter. We'll be making use of that. We'll be making use of shea butter. And then we'll be making use of aloe vera, which is very, very important in this DIY, okay? And then the next thing that we'll be making use of is this uh, Omega A Stretch Mark Cream. Okay, this is going to be our base. Okay, so we'll be making use of this. We will be making use of Clear or Stretch Mark Remover. Okay, this is another cream right here and then we'll be making use of crude canico crude canico is very very good when it comes to green vein a uh, stretch mark white dot it, it this this things that this thing that you are seeing right here is so active when it comes to stretch mark a uh, green vein and white dots and the rest okay and then the next thing we'll be making use of is vitamin e oil and then we'll be making use of hydra oil okay as i said earlier you can as well just get a uh, repair tissue oil um rescue oil or bio oil okay in place of this and then we'll be making use of this oil here it's called shalom stretch mark oil okay this is very very good when it comes to stretch mark and then we'll be adding in tea tree essential oil we'll be adding in a miracle powder so i still have a little left here that i use in making the, stre the stretch mark uh, scrub and then we'll be making use of stretch mark ampoules this is how it looks like for those of you who doesn't know this is how how this is how stretch mark ampoules looks like okay this is harbor stretch mark this is harbor skin daughter anti-stretch mark ampoules okay this is how it looks like and then we'll be making use of uh propylene glycol okay this is also very very important guys okay and then the next thing that we'll be making use of is um um lavender essential oil okay we'll be making use of lavender essential oil another thing that is so key to this in making this stretch mark cream another thing that is very very important okay it's python oil i know most of you are not familiar with this uh this particular one that is already infused okay this is another uh way of they usually said this if you don't want to buy this on you maybe you are dating then you don't you, are, you don't 
you don't trust this particular one maybe you don't trust this particular one you can always just buy the already the python file that they normally put in this type of container okay you can as well buy that but i trust the people i buy my organic product from i know them so well okay i've been buying product from them for a very long time okay so and this one is very very expensive because you know that other one is a little bit small and you have to like put it under the sun it doesn't uh, acquire heat okay there's a way they normally infuse it okay so i decided to buy this one because i don't want to go through all that stress of melting that or that one or using a double boiler method okay so i got this one this is python fat original python fat it has the same smell with the other one okay so now to miss this we have our missing bowl here okay and then first thing that i'll be doing is i'll be taking i'll be taking our base okay this is our base this is how it looks like okay so i'll be taking let's say a uh, six or five tablespoon of this okay okay that's five uh, tablespoon and then i'll be adding in this clear or stretch mark remover so i already made some few things into inside this this particular one that's why it's very light like this but if you are buying yours it's thick in consistency okay it's very very thick in consistency so you don't have to be scared of the one you are buying okay so now i'll be using this to measure this is 80 uh, mil okay i'll be using this to scoop out some okay so this is it so this is how the color looks like though the smell is not really that nice but that's not what we are looking at we are looking at the effectiveness okay so i'm just going to look for a place to put this not to mess all of this space up Okay, so the next thing that I'll be adding in is our um, shea butter, okay, sorry, I said shea butter, uh, aloe vera, okay, we'll be adding in aloe vera, so now I just have to open, so I'll be adding in 3 tablespoons of aloe vera, this is aloe vera gel, so I'll be adding in 3 tablespoons of aloe vera gel, or you can add in more, okay. Okay, that's three tablespoons of aloe vera gel and then the next thing that i'll be adding in is my shalom uh stretch mark oil now we'll be adding in three tablespoons of our shalom stretch mark oil one two three so next thing that we'll be adding in is our hydra oil so i'll be adding in two tablespoons of my hydra or i don't know if this is still up to two tablespoons but i'll just be trying okay one okay two i think it's even more than two tablespoons the next thing that i'll be adding in is my vitamin e oil okay so i'll be adding in full tablespoon of vitamin e oil okay and next thing that i'll be adding in is my uh, mango butter okay this bowl is small so i just have to get it bigger for the way i'm looking at it right now so this is my mango butter so i'll just be adding in uh, a tablespoon of mango butter i have to use something else i don't want to mess this up so i just have to use this right here so i'll be using uh one tablespoon of mango butter okay So guys, I have to use another big apple to mix this. So guys, next thing that I'll be adding in is shea butter. So I'll be adding in full tablespoon of shea butter. So now the next thing that, that I'll be adding in is a uh, python oil. Okay, I'll be adding in four tablespoons of python oil. Four. Okay. So now then we'll go in with our crude canine co. So I'll be adding in 
uh, three tablespoon of good oh oh my we have half in there so i'll be adding in three tablespoon of this two three so now i'll have to stir this before adding the other ingredients okay Does it smell nice? Does not smell nice at all, but the work that is very very important. Okay, so now while mixing, I'll add to add in our carrot oil. Next thing that I'll be adding in is a miracle powder. Also be missing this thing while missing so this doesn't really have measurement so just know that i use full uh the cup uh to miss uh, the um, the scrub and the cream okay so i divide it into two so next thing that i'll be adding in is uh my tea tree essential oil so i'll be adding in just few drops of tea tree essential oil okay then few drops of my lavender essential oil so now guys i'll be adding in just two tablespoons of coconut oil okay Then I miss, make sure that I stir this properly and everything cooperate very well. Okay, make sure you miss this very, very well. It's very important, guys. So, guys, the next thing that I'll be adding in is uh, sweet powder. Okay, so I'll be adding in just half tablespoon of this, though I did not dissolve this, but I have to stir this properly to dissolve very well. So this is enough. I'll just be adding in just a little. Then I miss. I need to mix this. Mix it very well. Make sure you mix this very well. So I'll come back and show you guys how it looks like once I finish stirring this together. Okay. So guys, now that I'm almost done mixing this, the next thing that I'll be adding in is our stretch mark. Uh, ample so you can get two or three of these so this is what i have so i'll just be making use of this so i will have to pour in everything it's not really that much so but it's very very good when it comes to stretch mark so i have to make this again so carrot oil is very very good when it comes to dark uh, uh patches it's good for scars and it's very very good for stretch mark okay everything here just know that they are all very very good i can't explain all of these things or i advise you guys just google it and know what they do okay just know the benefit of all of these ingredients uh on google because if i should start explaining all of these eh, this video is just going to be too long which is already long already so all you need to do is just to stir this make sure that all the um, powders met very oh, sorry all the liquid what am i saying all the solid uh, oil made very very well okay especially the mango butter and the shea butter so make sure that you mix it properly okay so we are not going to be putting this inside a, a cup we are going to be using a plastic uh we are going to be using something like this okay that we've been using so i'm selling this this is for somebody and if you want to buy this from me guys you can as well just chat me up i'll be leaving my number on the screen you can as well chat me up if you want to buy this from me but just know that it's not cheap okay let me just okay, so if you want to use this you have to be very very consistent and and you have to scrub your 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 the part where you have stretch mark daily every day make sure you scrub it at least once a day before applying this uh, stretch mark uh, cream okay this is going to work perfectly fine so guys the next thing that i'll be adding in now is uh jama plus 
as uh, preservative it's very very important okay so we have to preserve our product i don't have much in here let's see this is half teaspoon sorry half tablespoon which is okay okay so now just stir this together and store in my bottle all right guys so here we have our stretch mark cream and our stretch mark scrub okay so now all you need to do is to scrub your your stretch mark every day every day you have to use this every single day okay and this stretch mark cream you have to use it twice a day okay use it to massage the area where you have your stretch mark and something i want to let you guys know there are some few secrets that i added into this okay which i can't i can't say okay that is my own secret okay so i ha i added some few things that i cannot reveal but the way i showed you guys and all the things that i use and i all the things that i film on this video you can as well just try it and they will work for you so if you want to buy any of these stretch mark product from me this one is going out from for six thousand naira. this is 500 mil okay this is six thousand naira. why this is fifteen thousand naira? so it's not cheap guys it's not cheap and uh the way it is right now is something that <laughs> like i'm smiling literally because this is for somebody okay someone ordered this for me so i'm se i'm selling these two and this one okay so after a month you start seeing results if you want to buy from me you can as well just chat me up i will be leaving my number on the screen okay 15 then six thousand naira. okay so thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to uh like this video and share thank you guys see you guys in my next video bye